Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sammy Shaves, and today I'm going for a round three with Mitchell's Wolf Ant. Yeah, but some for some reason I think this is gonna work out. Um, I'll tell you guys what I changed at the end of the video if the result is good. But that said, I uh, hope you guys are having a good day or night, wherever you are. Um, enjoying some good shaves. Um, I enjoyed my shave yesterday. We'll continue to do so. All right, new addition to the den, not um, the brush that I'm going to be using. Here we go. Man, it's a nice looking brush. I've had this handle before, but um, I said it's tuxedo knot. Um, yeah, just say jade. I call it the shade of jade from craving shaving. It's got its coin and I got a thin tuxedo knot here. This is like a mother load knot. Absolute no backbone, but I love it. <laughs> or I don't know if I'm gonna love it, but I do enjoy the the other mother load knot, so let's try this today. I got good old Mitchell's Wolfat in the bowl here. Kind of soaking a bit <clears throat> and this knot is pretty crazy if you guys uh it gels up quite weirdly if you can see that it's got a <laughs> it gels into this clumps um, it's a very soft brush so um yeah let's get on loading shall we Now, um, <clears throat> if this works today, then I'm probably gonna be shaving with the fat tomorrow for Fat Friday. Um, all right, it's looking okay. Looking okay. It's a little bit airy, but uh, let's see. Smells like the fat. It's got a, a bit of a soapy, cologne clean scent. Um, yeah, it's, the scent is not too bad, but it does bring up some uh, bad memories for me because of the all the time struggling to lather up Mitchell's wool fat. But so far, it's looking okay. Um, <clears throat> I didn't add wa any water, except for the, the, the water soaking the soap a bit from the start. And this is what it looks like. And I guess add some water here. I still haven't fully loaded the soap yet. <clears throat> add some water and continue mixing and stirring. <coughs> Yeah, this, uh, this knot has shed uh, a bit more than I'd like for a synthetic. Probably shed um, maybe 10 hairs from its cleaning. And I, I, I see it shedding one right now, so hopefully this doesn't continue. But so far the lather is looking decent. <clears throat> Look at that, and more water. Here we go, continue mixing. And for some reason, it's looking out a bit better. I know the reason. Let me just lather on first. <laughs> And I'll tell you guys. <clears throat> Alright, this is looking quite nice. Uh, becoming that creamy texture that I really enjoy. I think I'm almost there. I'm just gonna add a bit more water and look at that. Not bad. Still a bit 
light in texture. So I'm gonna continue adding water. All right, this is gonna be my last water addition. And then I'm gonna take it to the face. Now I, could, I know you can um, get a good great chase with Mitchell's wool band, even if it's bubbly, because it's still slick. However, um, I do enjoy my lathers being creamy and kind of thick on the thicker side, so I don't like to see lathers disappearing on the face and um, thinning out. Good example of Williams Mexico. That thing thins out like no other. There is a way to lather it, but uh, it took me a while to get to that state. But look at that. Looking like a su success. Let me rinse up my face real quick. Get on face lather. Here we go. I'm planting the brush. Still kind of light in texture, but I think this is gonna grow in volume. This is just painting. This knot feels amazing. I'm gonna start splaying and working the magic. Oh my gosh, already. Look at that. Can't even talk. It's gonna need more water. completely different result. I wonder why. Look at that. This is resembling Chris's another from another cut above. And it's not irritating my face. At least not right now. I'll have to see a bit later. But I knew this is what it became, can become. I 
to left here. That's a centipede. Alright, now what did I change to make this lava? Here's a change. I use a different Mitchell's wolf hat. <laughs> so I think I said that before uh, I said it last time. My friend decided to send me one of his sample of Mitchell's wolf hat. And as you can see you get this kind of result. The puck that I have. I tried it yesterday, bloomed it for two hours. Same bubbly result that I had a couple of videos ago. Uh, yeah, so. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I think this puck, um, as you can see, it's quite dry too. And the texture is quite different. You guys see this one. This one feels more um, rubbery, kind of smooth. And this one, this one feels uh, powdery and dry, even when I bloomed it. This one texture felt different from um, this. Also, maybe the color is different too. This one seems more on the white side than this one's seem more yellow. But that said, um, that leads me to believe that I have a bad pack of Mitchell's Wolf Ant. Um, it, it will not lather. I know I can, I can still get slick lather from it, but it's not going to be creamy like this. It's going to be that bubbly, thin, dissipating, slick lather. And I don't like it. And it also irritated my face a couple times when I used it. I don't think this one is irritating my face, at least I don't feel any irritation. Um, but yeah, um, it's leading me to believe that either the quality has, um, the, the quality control has changed or something um, during the transit, maybe like a really extreme heat or something altered the ingredients to um, change the quality of the lather. Um, at least no at least the consistency or yeah the the texture of the lather i know one other shaver uh, i think his channel is thomas the shaver or something he had a lot of trouble with mitchell's wolf hat it might be that he just got a a bad batch or different quality of mitchell's wolf hat because um you can definitely get a great lather out of this um <laughs> this this peak is still staying there <laughs> Alright, well that said, um, I'll leave you guys at that. I'll probably shave with this tomorrow. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy it a lot. Um, a little literal Santa beard here. <laughs> I, I enjoy it for what it is. But uh, yeah, um, if you guys have a Mitchell Wolf fat that you can't lather, it might be a bad, um, a, a different quality. Because, um, I mean, give it, give it all you got. I, I tried probably like 30 times of lathering that this puck and couldn't do it i pulled out the sample that my friend sent me and this is what i get straight from the bed so yeah i'll leave you guys at that uh, my mitchell's uh, third attempt was a success because i used a different puck and it works all right thank you guys for watching this is tim shapes and i'll see you guys next time see ya